Allow me to show you something. Listen to me and listen to me very carefully. I don't know what you want, but do I fully understand your black abilities? You saw her too. Sorry, sir. Surely I made enough noise to awaken the dead. Because I've never been there 
If it is possible to pinpoint the exact day that the changing of the guard began, that day would be Wednesday the 29th of April, 1992. It was the first morning of the Coke Classic held at North Narrabeen in perfect small surf, and by the end of the day, the face of pro surfing would be changed forever. For starters, Kelly Slater was on a streak, and he easily scored the highest point total of the day with an impressive display of his awesome talents. Many others, including Flavio Potterats, Luke Egan, and Matt Hoy, put on all-time performances, and tour veterans Tom Carroll and Martin Potter illustrated once again their mastery of competitive surfing. Another young surfer from D.Y. who was at best a dark horse to win the event would begin his march all the way to his first ASP victory before a large partisan crowd. Shane Herring would go on to finish fourth in the world in 1992 and his epic battle with Kelly in the final of this event was a landmark victory in a new era of radical surfing. I think that I probably go out the window. And what you don't know won't hurt. Next time I'll keep it to myself. You know that I hope to be a beautiful story, but like a tiny button, you to come undone.
we're taking over the show.
Over the past few years, Kira Point has continued to produce epic waves for the touring pros. This year's contest was a world qualifying event on the ASP Pro Tour, and no less than four world champions sampled Kira's caverns. Girl, so 
Johnny Boy Gomes and Sonny Garcia are Hawaii's most radical wave riders. In the past few years, their reputations have gained them enormous respect, and few would argue that they currently represent state-of-the-art surfing in Hawaii. To be mentioned in the same breath with Jerry Lopez, The Hose, Barry Kaniapuni, Buttons, and Dane Kialoha is a real honor. Yet both of these guys have already earned this distinction. Sonny finished third in the world in 1992, and he is a major threat to Slater's dominance this year.
from the land of the living All those pretty people put me down I'm from the land of the living All those pretty people put me, put me down I'm from the land of the living The 1992 Marui Pipeline Masters was pretty much a non-event. With the exception of the first morning, the conditions were junky, wind-blown, and closed out. But as you can see here, a few gems did slide through for the lucky Hawaiian trialists. Shoveling. 
David Gonzalves is a good example of the enormous talent Hawaii is now producing, along with James Labrador, Pancho Sullivan, and the mysterious Kahia, Davy Boy's skills at spots like Off the Wall in VLAN are very plain to see. You don't want to hear, be careful, you might say something that you really mean, you say, take things easy, go and have some fun, but my mind is hazy, about
Shane Dorian from the Big Island of Hawaii and Oahu's Ross Williams share one thing in common, their freakish ability in the water. Both rip in waves big and small, and their professional careers are just beginning.
Kelly Slater's rise to world surfing champion was predicted many years ago, but the speed that he accomplished it was truly mind-boggling. At only 20 years of age, he's the youngest champion ever and a real inspiration to surfers the world over. Throughout the world, surfers have a common goal, to ride classic waves in an unpolluted ocean. The source of our joy is often tampered with, and an impure sea could spell disaster for us all. What we can do as surfers depends on our commitment to the environment. Get involved, become an advocate for clean beaches, and make sure the waves are safe for generations to come.